Welcome to Quaker Hill, Wilmington's oldest residential neighborhood and home of the landmark that served as last episode's Where in Wilmington Clue. I'm standing at the spot from which this particular portion of the city derives its name. Now this piece of land, situated between 4th Street, West, and Washington Streets, since 1738 has been home to Wilmington's Religious Order of Friends, also known as the Quakers. Today's Wilmington Friends Meeting House was designed in 1816. However, it was not the first meeting house built on this parcel. Actually, it is the third. The first meeting house was built in 1738 on land donated by William Shipley and his wife Elizabeth, two Quakers from the Philadelphia region credited for establishing Quaker Hill. As more Quakers settled in town, a larger meeting house was built in 1748 to accommodate the increased population. The original meeting house became the Friends School, which operated in Wilmington until relocating to its current site in Alapocos, just outside city limits in 1937. An even larger third meeting house was built in 1816, and the earlier one was raised. The Wilmington Friends Meeting House remains an important place to the approximately 400 members who still worship here. Although still in active use today, the building retains many historic features, such as the original wooden benches, complete with the original horsehair cushions. If you look closely, you can still find traces left behind by early generations of Friends students. Although the original benches remain, they have been slightly reconfigured. Originally, the majority of the benches faced the rows of benches underneath a structure known as the soundboard, a small curved ceiling above the seats known as the facing benches. This is where the most well-respected members would sit during worship, with the soundboard serving as a sort of amplification device so everyone sitting across the room could hear their wise words. Many of Wilmington's early leaders were either Quakers or identified closely with the Quaker faith. In fact, a walk through the graveyard of Wilmington Friends Meeting House is like a walk through a veritable who's who of Wilmington history. Here you'll find such old Wilmington family names as the Bancrofts, who owned woolen and cotton mills in Wilmington. The Hoops, no doubt early ancestors of Edgar Hoops, the namesake of Wilmington's reservoir. And of course, the family plot of the Shipleys, who founded Quaker Hill. But two names stand out above all the others. Wilmington Friends Meeting House is the final resting place of John Dickinson, one-time president, or the colonial equivalent of governor, of Delaware and Pennsylvania, as well as a penman of the Articles of Confederation and a framer and signer of the U.S. Constitution. The other historic and heroic person buried at Wilmington Friends Meeting House is Thomas Garrett, Delaware's greatest station master on the Underground Railroad. Thomas Garrett is credited with helping 2,700 slaves reach freedom beginning in the late 1820s. Garrett, a devout Quaker, was so revered for his heroic actions that upon his death in January of 1871, an estimated 1,500 people attended his funeral. Wilmington's Tubman Garrett Park is named after Garrett and his fellow abolitionist friend, Harriet Tubman. Today, you can pay your respects to Thomas Garrett at this simple marker, which is located just underneath this large oak tree, the Thomas Garrett Oak, which was planted in his honor. While the Wilmington Friends graveyard looks small, it's actually home to thousands of unmarked graves, including victims of the yellow fever epidemics of 1719 and 1802. Quaker Hill is more than just the home of Wilmington Friends Meeting House and the final resting place of Thomas Garrett and John Dickinson. It's one of Wilmington's designated historic districts. Nowhere else in Wilmington can you find such an incredible diversity of architectural styles. Take a short walk around the neighborhood and you'll find homes ranging from the colonial period through ornate Victorian mansions. Quaker Hill is also home of the Cathedral of St. Peter, Wilmington's first Catholic church, complete with its gleaming aluminum dome. I hope you've enjoyed learning more about the Wilmington Friends Meeting House as well as Wilmington's oldest residential neighborhood, Quaker Hill. Join us next time as we continue our journey through Wilmington's fascinating history and our much-loved landmarks. For Wilmington in the middle of it all, I'm Rich Newman.